All right, here we have proving a trigonometric equation with identities by Cynthia Rivera. We're told to prove that trigonometric identity tangent x over cosecant squared x plus tangent x over secant squared x equals tangent squared x. As you can see, we wrote both tangents in blue and secant and cosecant in red. We combine both, combining like terms to form tangent squared x, and we're going to combine both inside the parentheses secant squared x and cosecant squared x. I guess you've noticed that in the third step we have a fraction. We went from secant squared x to 1 over sine squared x and cosecant squared x to 1 over cosine squared x. Here we use the reciprocal identities to convert secant and cosecant into sine and cosine. Alright, now using the rules of fractions, we kind of in some way reciprocated and, well, I wouldn't say reciprocated, we we simplified it, the fraction the pre from the previous step into si sine squared x plus cosine squared x over cosine squared x times sine squared x. All right, now, from here, we're going to use the Pythagorean identity to simplify in sine squared x plus cosine squared x to 1. Again, the Pythagorean identity to simplify in sine squared x and cosine squared x to 1. The denominator stays the same, and again, we divide by cosecant squared x and secant squared x. Alright, so now in this step we have tangent squared x over cosine squared x times sine squared x. And here in this step, again, we're going to multiply 1 over cosecant squared Okay, in this step, well not this step, the one next to it. Alright. Oh, okay. Sorry, let's see. Okay, I'm sorry, in this step, uh, in the previous step, we had cosecant squared x over secant squared x. Here, we're going to again use the reciprocal identity to simplify secant squared x to cosine, I'm sorry, to sine squared x, and secant squared x to cosine squared x. And we're going to put this, all of this, as the denominator and the numerator, numerator, I'm sorry, will be 1. Okay, so now we're going to have 
we have, I'm sorry, tangent squared x over cosine squared x times sine squared x over, now because we reciprocated using the rules of fractions, we have sine squared x over cosine squared x over 1. Now with the blue, with the blue, okay, we're going to cancel out all like terms and anything divided by tangent squared x proving the equation tangent x over cosecant squared x times tan plus tangent x divided by secant squared x equals tangent squared x. And here we draw a little happy face because we got it right. We are able to prove the identity. Mission complete. Now to review, we're going to go back and show the identities that we use to prove this trigonometric equation. The first one was found in the third step and here was the fraction we had 1 over sine squared x plus 1 over cosine squared x and here we use the reciprocal identity to simplify secant and cosecant into sine and cosine. The next one was in the following step, the next step, that we had sine squared x plus cosine squared x to e simplify to 1 and that was the Pythagorean identity. Alright, and now the last step we use, the last identity was, as soon as it gets bigger, alright there we go, alright we used the reciprocal identity to simplify again secant squared x and cosecant squared x to sine and cosine. Okay, and that's it. That's how we were able to use trigonometric—I'm uh, sorry—identities to prove a trigonometric equation and actually get the answer right. That's it.